good morning so i'm editing this video and i realized i didn't do an intro so i'm gonna be doing a simple simple this is simple get ready with me uh, marisol requested something simple easy easy peasy so this is the look um i don't know if you can see it's raining so i don't know why i even bothered to um flat iron this hair but as you can see simple drugstore la girl la colors simple simple so yes so i never go to sleep with my hair away because i don't like how it looks but that's what i did last night so we're gonna start i'm going in with the sarah v on a little cotton round to tone the skin Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, for skincare, I've been using. <clears throat> this is how I sound in the mornings, but the Drunk Elephant. So I have a Passioni Retinol Cream, and this reboots and smooths the skin. And I have the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Um, this one is for dramatically diminishing the appearance of fine lines, deep wrinkles, and sun damage, revealing a vibrant, younger looking complexion. This one is for brightening, youthful, um, dry skin so this is to give you back your moisture um my sister gifted me these because i ain't spending what this costs so i do it says a, a like a pea size i don't know what a pea size would look like because peas peas so i'm just going to put that on So, normally I go, my sister is like, don't do that. This one is the hydration, which I need tons of. So, I go like this, right? And I need a lot of hydration. It says to keep away from your eyes, but I feel like I need hydration under the eyes too. So my sister, she squeezes it in her face. So I guess that's how you do it. <clears throat> if you hear me wheezing, <clears throat> we fine, we fine. Everything is fine, everything is fine. Okay, that's my toner, that's my skincare. And then sometimes I'll add a little bit of this toner, um, skin and tonic glow oil. It has vitamin C, rose hip and pumpkin. This is very, very good. Very, very hydrating. But because I have this one on, we're going to try to keep things a little bit separate. I just need a little moisture on my lips because they look dry as hell. And I'm going in with another one of these honeys. A lot of you don't like it because it's like, ooh. But if you do the job, you are fine in my book. Every winter, fall, my lips start to chap. Like, I don't know. But I also have a habit of, you know? So, I'm going in with my eye drops. I have this one, which is the Sustain. Um, which... I only do one drop. And then I try to look all around. But it has like a purpley kind of tint to the liquid. 
but i like that it hydrates my eyes because that's another thing is i get dry eyes itchy runny nose sneezing wheezing like that's normal that's normal right that's normal <laughs> yeah okay so we're gonna do simple simple so like marisol <laughs> that's good that's good that's good <laughs> she makes me laugh every time i see her drink her coffee i'll be like oh my god i need some all right so <clears throat> as you can see my face is getting lighter my body still has color so we're going in with the la girl this is the pro matte high definition long wearing matte foundation in warm sienna and I'm just going to do um, one pump and then I'm going to take this, I don't know what you call this, and we're going to put it on. I don't like dry matte foundations, but in the summer, I need it because I feel like my T-zone has gotten more oily than normal. So yeah, then I'm gonna go in with my sponge and my sponge is moist. And I like to bring it up to my ears because you want your whole head to blend. So, I like to use the brush so that I can get like a full coverage and then I like to smooth it out and kind of not, not, um, not thin it out, but I still want it to look like my skin, you know, in the summer, I like kind of like a medium kind of foundation in the winter. I like matte. I want to look like sheetrock. But in the summer, I don't. So. And I like how this looks. Because even though it's a matte finish, it's not like super drying. Like, I don't feel it like, you know. So. That's that. And I like to leave these with no hardly no foundation because i still want that bright under eye even if to some people it's a little bright i like it i want you to think that i slept for 20 hours even if i didn't so yeah it is all right and if you could see the mess back there ignore it we're decluttering some of the jewelry and i have that box over here so that i can do that okay so now for under the eyes i'm gonna take We're gonna go with the Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer, LA Girl, mm -hmm. LA Girl. I feel like when you use the same, it kind of blends a little better than. So this is in the color Creamy Beige, which is kind of like my normal skin color, but I feel like under the eye, and you, I just squeeze a little, you know, and put you here. A little up here, a little bit here. Because I want that brightness. 
that's all folks so then i'm gonna go in with a smaller brush to just kind of press that in like that both that out a little then i'm gonna go in with this is elf's like a little egg press it in I uploaded like a car vlog last night. I showed you guys a little bit of how I'm decluttering some of the jewelry and stuff. I'm gonna be honest, after I shut it off, I was like, no, 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 I need this, I need this. But I did put some stuff in the box and I have a lot more. So what I did was, I'm a movie for a second so you can see what I have here, which is a mess. But I'm watching myself. I have this drawer full of liners, concealers, liquid liners. Um, glosses and stuff and I had the same thing here but now I put this I gotta organize it because it's a little bit much I think I am gonna well that didn't work I'm gonna you know declutter from here too but this is kind of what I want like I want to be able to pull the drawer get my jewelry so mira quien esta ahí me all right, so hopefully I'm still in frame. Oh, not there. So yeah, so I'm gonna just buff this in like that. And that's it. So I still have like a nice bright under eye, but my skin matches the body. So I'm gonna take with the same sponge. I have in this here, um, this is the Patrick Star AS, I don't know what, which is very good, very, very good. Normally I like to get the, um, you know the one, the big, ugh, I don't remember what it's called. You know, your mom used it and your grandma used it, that one, but, I had gotten this as a gift and I was like, you know, let me try it. So I'm just gonna, I like to dump it in here so I can get the sponge in it instead of tap, 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 tapping it. And then I tap it on the lid. I'm gonna put it under the eye. Like that. I know it looks crazy, but it will come together. Like that. On the lid. on my forehead like that then I'm going in with the LA Cur Curls LA Color in tan and I'm taking this e.l.f. flat kabuki kind of brush. And this will be for the face. And I'm just going to press the powder. I don't normally, you know, buff it like this until after I've put in powder. Because I don't want my foundation to move. And then I just bring it down. Because you see, when you're sitting in the sun like this this here didn't get no color so you still want to blend it all so like that all right i work a little different a lot of people do their eyes first. I do not. So that's the skin. Now I'm going to take um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. As you can see, it's been getting used. And I've been using it a lot more now that I have a little color. I'm taking this angled brush. Putting it here. To 
give my face a little shape. And cover up that double chin. So that's what we're doing here. Now you ain't got to do this, but I like to do this. And then I'm going in with the Sephora Bora Bora. And it's another like contouring bronzing powder but it has i don't know if you can see a little shimmer this one i bring a little bit closer like that i'm gonna take this smaller brush with a little bit and just try to like contour the nose and I just pinch it up here just to give me a smaller nose. That's that. Now, I have this Nude Ego from BH Cosmetics and they're just darker um, blushes because I don't want to use the same pinkies that I wear when I'm paler with this color because I feel like it needs a little bit more. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, a little bit of this. like that this is from estate it's do me um highlighter and we gonna take just a tad down the center Again, you ain't got to do this. A little bit over here. Then, I like to take the moist sponge and just push in what I just did to give it like a nice kind of look. Okay. So, for the eyes, we're going to go simple, simple. Um, I don't have my makeup here. We're going to go in with this Wet n Wild O Natural. I'm going to take this gold color here. And I'm going to put it all over the lid. So... And I have it dry, right? Which is okay. But I'm gonna wet it just a bit. I'm gonna wet the brush just with a little bit of setting spray. Go over that same thing and pick it on, pick it on. And I like to tap in and put the foundation down because I feel like if you start automatically going like this, you're going to get a lot of fallout. Because I do my whole skin first, you know I'm going to do that. So, yeah, yeah. So, now I'm going to take again. So, as you can see, it gave it more of like a shine and that's what you want. You could do this dry as well if you don't want such a 
shiny look, but because my skin is matted, I feel like the eyes need to do something else. So yeah, I'm gonna put you there. Now, as you can see, it has like a sheen to it. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this color. I just did this one. Now I'm gonna do this color, which is like a bronzy kind of color, dry. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it right in the center, like the outer B. Tap, 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 tap. Like that. Now, if I was paler, I would go in with this color and then put this one in the center and smoke it out with this. But because I have a little color, you ain't going to see that on the lids. So I'm doing it a little bit darker. And then same over here. Tap, 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 tap. Because the last thing you want is fallout. I'm gonna go back with that first color and kind of like blend out that little line so it doesn't look like it's separated so much like that. Like that. Now I'm gonna take with the same brush, because I don't think I need to go back into the center. This darker one here, which is like a chocolate. Now, you could put tape, you could put one of those guards. I already did foundation and I feel like when I put tape and peel it off, I'm taking the whole foundation out. So I keep a lot of like the price tags and stuff and I just use the card. I'm gonna put it like that. That's how I sharp I want it. And I'm just gonna tap right in the outer V, kind of like if I did like a wing liner. And then just kind of buff it in like that. Now, it's a little bit down, but I'm gonna carry it over to smoke out the bottom like that. So it gave me a nice clean line and it smoked out this edge. Like that. So I like to go light to dark. I never do dark to light. That just makes my eyeballs look like. So you don't wanna do that. And I'm gonna do the same over here. like that and if you see any harsh lines just get rid of it like that now we ain't do brows so I feel like it don't look together but work with me I'm gonna take this brown this is the voluminous mascara this is the bomb.com and I'm gonna put it on top, really close to the lash line. Like that. And you shouldn't pull your lids, but people can do it. I ain't got that skill set, so. 
And then I'm gonna do it of the water line or tight line like that. Now, what I've been enjoying doing is taking a flat, flat brush and just pushing that out, like smudging it out to give it like a wing kind of look. Um, but at the same time, it softens the, the line. So that's that. Now, we are gonna do brows. Brows is one of the last things I do and one of the things I hate the most. I'm really considering doing the microblading. I just, in my heart, I'm hoping the Chola face come back and I could just sharpie it. But I don't think it will. So, we gonna take um, this Langmang brow pencil in black from Timu. It's a very pointy, pointy um, pencil. I'm going to outline the bottom. Hopefully I am in frame. Uh, like down here. Go up. Follow your natural curve. Gently, gently. Like that. Now, I'm going to make my strokes. Like that. Now, the <clears throat> brow wax thing that I was using, the black one, I'm done with it. And after finishing it, I still don't know how I feel about it. So I don't know if I'm gonna get another one. Um, this that's how thick I want them. So, I feel like this is Gucci, this is Walmart. You ain't never gonna get them the same, but now I'm gonna do the strokes down. Get hold the end of bro. And then up. And then down. So down. And up. Because my hairs up here go down. My hairs up front go up. Some people's hairs all go up. Um, I feel like when I do crisscross, it looks a little more realistic. Now I'm going to take the spoolie side. Comb up. And then <clears throat> I'm going to take the one with the teeth, the three teeth. Draw the hairs. Mm -hmm. 
Then we're going to take the gel. I feel like this is very jelly. I don't feel like it freezes as fast as it's supposed to. And then comb me his. Like that. Now, I could see some space skin. I'm just gonna color over it. Now, that's it for right now. I'm gonna take a Q-tip, clean and shape the bottom. like that you just cleaning it so instead of doing like concealer underneath to like give it like that clean look I just clean it out with the q-tip and it gives it like a clean look um, if I see this point here I'll get rid of that just so it looks a little more natural and not you know once that gel dries, if I still see like a couple of empty spots, I'll go back and fill it in. But for now, that's it. Now, we did the brows, we did everything. I still have to do mascara, but I still feel like I need a little bit of color. So we're gonna go back to the blush. Actually, we're going to go into the Bellini palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to take this peachy color because I feel like I need a little color. Like that. Now... Lip liner, we're going in with a pinky, nudie color. Just like that. I'm not gonna do lipstick or anything because I'm still having coffee. I still gotta eat something. mascara this is just from primark and it's so extra so i just go back and forth bring it to the front bring it back blink and that's one eye versus the other now um a little bit on the bottom and then I do the same over here Like that. Now, that is the look. So, I just press under the eye 
and on the forehead. Just the T-zone. Set that. That's it. That's the look. Simple, simple. Now, again, because I have a tan, I went in with a little bit darker. You could do this color on the inside, then the gold in the center, and maybe this one or this one towards the end. If you want to do a wing liner, you could do wing liner. But we're trying to do as simple as possible. And to me, this is as simple as it gets. Now, I got to planch out my hair and do all that, change into my outfit. I don't know what I'm going to wear. And then I'll show you the final results. All right. So I just put on this top. This is the look. I just straightened my hair. I don't know if I like how it looks, but I feel like it looks poofy. But that's the look. Simple, simple. A little bit more smoky towards the end. But yeah, it is. So this was a quick, simple get ready with me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.